and move this in just a little bit. And you see I haven't paid perfect attention to my lines or my drawing because I'm more interested in the balance of what I got going. And once I put the oxide on, I can kind of see what I want to see. So now I have the outline of my design. It's bracketed. The clouds are going to go here. The main design is here. And the intricate design is there. Now generally speaking, you start at the bottom and work up. Otherwise you can smudge it. And it just takes the most minor smudge, and you have blue dust all over the place. So that doesn't hurt. So I'm going to pour a little of this oxide in here and work with just a small amount of it. I'll wash these brushes later on, and then I'll use um, conditioner. Uh, to help keep the bristles smooth. So I'm going to use a finer uh, brush, but I haven't quite decided which one's going to work. I'm kind of hoping this one will. So we'll see. It might be too long. Probably one of those two. We'll find out. So now I'm going to start drawing the design. So here we go. Now you notice that right there it started resisting because it's not didn't have enough water. And the thing is is that both the clay and the glaze are going to resist. It's not a very good line. This may not be the best brush. So there's my basic uh, outline of the design. And now we'll put the curl cues in. So we're going to come up, come around, and down for that. And we're going to put the flowers in. And you see the kind of feathered edge, that's because the glaze is not quite 
I'm going to do one complete one so you can see it and then uh, then we'll come back later when it's all filled in because it'll take probably about two or three or four hours to do it all. Now this lotus flower is going to be filled in, but I'm going to use light cobalt at the base and heavier cobalt at the ends of the flowers. And that's just a matter of knowing how dense the cobalt is. I'm going to put some of these leaves in so you can see what they look like. Generally I would go around and kind of do it a little piece at a time, but we'll just do it this way. And you can see how Art Nouveau they kind of are. So these will be filled in. 